So now it's time to work on actually being able to produce a sound. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to put your hand, your, your second finger, so this is one, two, just the second finger right here on the, on the left hand over that second key right there. We're not touching this one. We're not touching the little tiny one, but we're going right here. The one, two, three. We're taking that second one right there. This is called C. This is what we're going to use to begin to, to work. It's a pretty easy note to get out, right? Okay. So what I want you to do, I want you to do that O embouchure again that I talked about in the, er in the earlier video. Curl that bottom lip. Place the, the reed on top of it like a bed. Put your two front teeth on top of the sax on top, top of the saxophone mouthpiece. And then I want you to let the muscles kind of circle, closing the gap around it. So it's going to look something like this. Now, what we don't want to do, we don't want to do the blowfish thing. We want to control it. We want to control the air. So I'm going to demonstrate what not to do, and then I'm going to demonstrate what to do. Okay, did you hear the difference? Did you hear the difference when I let my my cheeks go all all over the place and how I controlled it using these muscles? These are the ones that you really want to use to make everything be everything that it that it should be. Okay? So we want to make sure we have a proper embouchure. We want to make sure that we we have, we have good um body positioning so we can get the best air amount. We want to make sure we're sitting up straight, all concerned with that same thing, and we want to we want to get that going. Okay? All right, so now we're going to start working on some exercises next. <laughs> 